My father hadn't come home yet, so we took turns showering at home. Oh my! Anyway, folks, hello and welcome back to some more Nekuni Nexar. On our last episode, we had a little bit of a lovey dovey morning with Yura, but Tama was not having any of it. Oh no, Siri, she got jealous and stormed off. But, even though she was a little bit of a runaway, we eventually reconciled after meeting up with her. And, well, we're probably going to have quite the happy moment, are we not? Because we're actually going to be staying at their abode tonight, right? At least I'd presume so, since Haruki does not want to leave them alone. I left a note in the living room saying, I'm not coming home today. Oh, well, that answers my question. Since he does want to be there for them, and he was working part-time for about a week on and off to try and save up, you know, living funds for them. Anyway, I felt like my everyday life was growing more and more distant. He's such a nice man. Well, it must be low sugar in comparison to grass, right? <laughs> Come on, you're getting food all over the place. Then again, the cows probably never complain. Yura drew close to my face and I plucked a grain from grass from her cheek. Time I just sees herself on the bench and squeezed tight. Ooh. Getting cozy. Yeah. I'm sure this is much more rewarding than the inertia driven everyday life. That's how I feel every time I take care of these two. Oh, this is a treat. Some eye candy. You know, it's unfortunate. Because then had we just continued on a little bit more in our last part, we would have had this. We would have had this, man. But I don't want it Let's keep going on and on. Anyway, what time is it now? It's snuggle time, maybe? Or huggles? <laughs> Why not snuggle huggles? Anyway, it'd be rude to take my phone out right now. I can see the sorry sky more clearly from their lightless abodes. I love night. <laughs> anyway, I felt like we were actually camping. They had been staring into this night sky while I wasn't around. Oh? Cramped! Uh-uh, I, I thought you were going to comment about the view, mate, again. Mm, Meh. Time I laughed as she complained about how cramped it was, even though she was getting snug with me. Oh my. I feel it's cold and hard when I'm on my back. It's windy too. Uh, uh isn't he just doing this out of a selfless act of kindness now? I'm not talking about me. Oh, we were just thinking of those two. Yeah, definitely selfless. I have a soft bed and warm food waiting for me at home. But I'm the only thing these two have. Just wait a while longer, alright? I'll work something out. Yeah. Ten years of part time is gonna be enough to save up for an abode, right? A much more homely one at that. Meh, meh. I felt agreement in the air. Oh. Oh, yeah, it mustn't be too comfortable. Oh. <laughs> yeah, probably. All the skin shit. I thought you weren't going to invite me here all the time. Oh, getting affectionate, are we? It's so sad that she would feel grateful for over a trivial thing such as this. Is it not trivial, though? I mean, being with your loved one is something else, is it not? I want to give them something they could really be grateful for. What is it? Okay, j j just a meow. Time I mean something that could have been taken as an answer. I wrapped my arms around these two and placed their trust in me. We could just spend the rest of our days like this. Well, it wouldn't be too comfortable. We snuggled into each other, sharing in our warmth. Body heat! Where? Oh, a transition of sorts? Oh, it's one of these. Oh! 
some more Yura. Hmm. Wonder if that changes every time. Anyhow. I woke up the next morning with an aching body. Yeah. Mm. It wasn't the most comfortable sleeping place, was it? Uh, sleeping outdoors was taking its toll on me. The sisters seemed refreshed compared to myself. They must be used to it by now. It's finally lunchtime. I got from my seat and my classmates looked at me with a kind of exasperation in their eyes. I think I've uh, was teasing. The other have been jealousy. Following your dramatic entrance, there were rumors about how I had a mysterious girlfriend. Oh, that was going to the ceiling. Tyson! Tyson! I'd been getting sensitive to the feeling of being watched lately too. Without looking at them, I shook my head to give them my signal. Come on out, you two. Oh, whoosh. The two landed right in front of me right after I called out to them. Oh dang, you were long in the forum. That's an overstatement. <laughs> that's more like it. So that's why. Or maybe Haruki's the main course. The boundaries of what I would do when I spent my time with them had been fading. They're too cute to resist. Be careful so the teachers don't find you, alright? Spoken like a true stalker. You really don't have to do that last part. Again, spoken like a true stalker. Can they do something more protective with their time? Oh, sniffing up a storm. Hey, it's um. I got some bread today. I picked the one you liked most, Tama. Red's a luxury now? I mean, I guess to mountain people it would be. I got some rice balls too. There were some sh sushi I could do with some of that. Mm, rice, and rice and fresh go so well with each other, man. <laughs> it's been a while. I watched as the two played with the grocery bag. They climbed over each other to claim the bag as their own. It's going to be rough on my wallet, but watching these two get along, trying to be peace of... Oh. Well, no peace of mind yet, buddy. <gasps> no, 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 no. Cat fight. You do this every chance you get, don't you? Oh! <laughs> More self insert CGs! <laughs> of course. I valued our meals where we get sent next to each other. Like this, especially since my work was picking up. Tama took a huge bite of her bread. Her cheeks munched as she rubbed them on my shoulder. Her explanation of Tasty and Yay were so cute to I. Here, Tama, you can have this one too. Yeah. Why? Why not? You were objected when I held my bread out to Tama. She might just be a growing lassie, you know? <laughs> I can eat at home. Well, she's already scoffed it down. Nice for your concern, Yura, but my curry bread is deep in Tama's stomach now. What curry bread? That, that, that's actually a thing? Like, huh. Hmm. I, 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 I need to try some of this curry bread. <laughs> it's all right, I offered it. I offered it to her anyway. More slurps? You just wanted to like. Hey, stop. Mm -hmm. 
Does it have to be so lit? Here, I'll eat my lips to savor his taste. Her tongue was doing a number on my crotch. <laughs> what the heck, man? Slurps to her at lunchtime. No, don't just taste out. Out, double slurps. I feel like I'm in a horror manga. No, you're in a visual novel. There's a difference. Well, at least that one was a bit less loot. Both sides of my face were getting legs. My crotch felt warmer and tired by the second. Oh my god. Yes, your fair share of slurps and legs. Yes. How did things end up this way? Uh, I want a reason for the lickening. Tama rubbed her boobs against my arm as if in agreement. It'd be rude of me to treat them like pets. Yeah. By the way, they loved me unconditionally. Reminded me of the cats I'd kept when I was little. Just, you know, with human-like tendencies as well. They had no interest in anyone other than myself. Their master. I... I think you've had your fill by now. You've already been doing so. Their most cat like trait was their refusal to listen to you. Yeah. You done? You done? You got your fill? By the time they were satisfied enough to re resume their meal, my face was covered in slobber. Ugh! I don't eat half of my bread, but my heart was more than nourished. I pretty much always do. Dang, I can't slap him up as I always do. Sorry, I'd love to be with you guys. Yes, all the manual labor. If the three of us were to start living together, I'd have to start working just to maintain our quality of life. Although I was going to get work in manual labor for now. There you go, there's a point! But even if you were to apply for jobs, you wouldn't have anything to put on your CVs. That is true. And you have tails and cat ears. Meh, meh. Girl, your main function is licking them up. Hey, do people live in that ninja village of yours? Huh. Seems simple enough. How idyllic. Oh, swipe of English slipped in. Wow, you know what standalone means, Yura? Well, can't you just like blend into society because the fact that you can mask your cat ears and tails? That's also another thing. Although, instinct is a thing. <laughs> you don't have to be so blunt about it. Cheer up. Oh? Oh, 
過去に宝生として賜った肥沃な地にて生活を賄えておりますし。Wow, you really appreciate that type of stuff, eh? Even the smallest of fangs. 拙者と玉がハルキドのにお使いすれば、貴重な献金もなんとか工面できることでしょう。That sure feels like a lot of cat and chef burdens to carry. 未だ三姉妹も揃わず、目立った甲もない中で偉そうなことは申し上げられませんが。Wait, three sisters? I'm gonna guess the other one that we saw was the third one then. Huh. Huh. That sounds awful.、Mm? Wait, you have another little sister? She looks more like an older one though. It has to be that one then, right? I see. <laughs> You'll bring back a fudge. Yep. What do you spend it on? Oh, that's right. Sorry, we actually going to visit the village? Let's go meet Drake now. Bring in all the cat people. I shouldn't say I'd rather not. その際は、拙者やたまともどもよろしくお引き立てのほどは。Oh, though, that, that would be a lot of mountain hiking. And it took them three days at full speed, right? <laughs> Transition! Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. What kind of person is your sister? What's up? So, you. I'm a shot to you, the gozaru. What's up? Sounds violent. Like a certain liquor over here. Yeah, even if there were legions of ninja who would join me, there's the matter of cost. Well, yeah. Wolf it down. Oh? What is it, Tama? Hmm. Maybe it's the girl that they mentioned. Please. Shinobi Kekai will gain Juni Harimegura said Eru to Yunoni. Daraga Konobani Tachiureru to Yunoda. Come on. It's like prime time to introduce her. Why did they do that? So no Tedare de Aru to Yunoda Madashimo. Hm. Kino Sebi Tai. But, but, but. The eldest. To you, Koto de Gosara. You're telling me. This entire time. Your old eldest sister could have been spying on us and being like, oh god, that's nasty. When like all the licking was happening and whatnot. Actually, wait. If she gets attached to Haruki, isn't it going to be like a. F no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have to go back to class. Well, let's, let's keep the dirty thoughts away for now. That was a work in manual labor felt long. You know what? Let's, let's make this one nice and short in comparison to the other ones, because we've had a lengthy dinner for all of them, and this feels like a good ending point. Incidentally, we ended, you know, <laughs> we ended all of them off in like a Haruki fault or whatever, or some Haruki dialogue. Anyway, folks, thank y'all for watching this episode of Nekuni and XR. And I'll see y'all next time with some more cat girl goodness. Tita for now.